Japan is well known globally for its wackiness. Hey! And amongst that wackiness lies a colourful array of themed cafes. You may be familiar with Japan's owl cafes. Cat cafes. Humping men dressed as frog cafes. And of course, maid cafes. Maid cafes are perhaps Japan's most popular type of themed cafe. Often establishments packed with middle-aged salarymen, the staff at these cafes are usually young, attractive women dressed as maids. And they refer to their customers as Goshijin-sama, or master. They will also sing and dance at your request, albeit for a sizeable markup on your bill. I was fortunate enough to have been told about a new type of themed cafe in Akihabara, Tokyo's central hub of wackiness and made cafes. The Marshmallow Cafe. Oh, oh god! No! No! <laughs> in Japanese, the term marshmallow is used somewhat endearingly to refer to plus-size women. Enter Shangri-La, a place which claims to be Japan's first marshmallow maid cafe. Shangri-La. As with other maid cafes, there is a seating charge per head and a requirement to order at least one drink. At the recommendation of the staff, we got ourselves some strawberry milkshakes. Oh. Big size, of course. <laughs> Yay. Cheers, Warren. Cheers. Bye. I asked the owner and staff why they decided to set up Japan's first plus size maid cafe, and I found the answer quite thought provoking and inspiring. They told me that, unfortunately, we live in a world where plus size women are often discriminated against, and as a result, lack self confidence, especially in a place like Japan, where overweight people and obesity aren't as common as in other parts of the world. They went on to explain that at Shangri La, they felt empowered and confident. <laughs> 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 Turns out they were also big fans of breasts. I love Oppa! Yay! I love Oppa! Yay! Oppa, I love! Yay! Oppa, I love! Oppa, I love! Oppa, I love! That's when things took a bit of a dark turn and they wanted me to become one of them an idol. <laughs> this is happening, so there are four. I am going to become the, the fourth maid. Okay. Oh no. This was not planned, but it's happening. I am going to put on the maid costume. <laughs> it's a great colour. They're all waiting. They're all waiting for this to happen. This is so weird. <laughs> I really had become one of them. I don't. I got it. 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 Why? We then took things one step further and choreographed the dance. I'm so disappointed in you, Stu. I know, Namiko. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I feel exposed. Exposed indeed. For who I really am. Wait, what? Oh. Woo! Survived. How was that, guys and Kasha? Amazing. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I just drank strawberry milk in the presence of three plus size women in maid outfits. Is what happened. Would you do it again? Yes. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you aren't as scarred as this experience as I am. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see some more videos. Much love, bleh, uh, much love to you all, and Matane!
so disappointed in you, Stu. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>